Okay, this is a tutorial for how to use the online graphing calculator link that you were given. A few things that you're going to notice um, in this window, this area right here in the upper left hand corner are the, the, the places where you will enter in the equations for the lines that you want to graph. Uh, you have four different areas. Um, you will most of the time just be graphing one. So if you were to type an equation in, you would type it into this first line. A couple things to remember, this left hand side already has the y part, so you don't need, we're, we're leaving the y equals on the left side here, the right side would be where you have your x values and everything else in the equation. Uh, to the right, there's a calculator with or an, an area with variables, and then down below is our graph button right here. You'll click that graph button when you're ready to actually graph your equation. We have some zoom buttons, talk about trace, and then there are x's and y's on the far right. So if we start, if I were to give you the equation 2x, okay, I can type the 2x from a keyboard, or I could type the 2 and push this x over here on the side. Okay, if you notice when I click this x, it puts an x in. Okay, so once I have my equation, I would hit graph. And what you'll see is a black coordinate plane with a red line. Now, if you notice, my y to the my y1, my first equation, has a red color here. If I were to change this color, it would change the color of my graph. Okay, if I made it purple and I hit graph, it would show a purple line. All right. Now for the zoom, if you notice my intervals are going by twos, so if I zoom in, it'll show me uh, by ones. Okay. The thing to notice though is do you see how my intervals for my ones are spread out further on the x-axis than the y-axis? Just kind of keep that in mind when you're graphing your lines. Um, if you're graphing on your paper, your line may look different from the one on the screen just because of the proportions, um, the spacing out of our intervals here. Now the trace button, what the trace button does is that gives you a little orange dot and if I, um, if I grab the dot, excuse me, if I use these arrows, Sorry, some programs you grab the dot, some you don't. If I move these arrows left and right, you'll see that orange dot travels up and down my line. The other thing I want you to notice while I'm clicking these buttons is in the bottom left-hand corner, the ordered pair where this point is at. So as I trace through, if you look here, my point is now at x equals 1, and the ordered pair would be 1, 2. So when x equals 1, y equals 2. While we're here, what I want you to notice off to the right, take a look at our table. Do you see how when x equals 1, y equals 2? Okay, this is the table of values that match this equation, the solutions to that equation. So 1, 2 is graphed on the line. If I went to 0, it would be 0, 0 if I traced over. Okay, And if I look at negative 1, if I were to trace down to x is negative 1, y should be negative 2. So if I trace down x is negative 1, y is negative 2. You see the ordered pair down here? Okay. Or you could see it from the, from the point right here. Okay. If you wanted to um, clear it out, you just highlight and hit delete. And then if you hit graph, it'll go back to blank. Now if you had the equation y equals 3x plus 1. I already have y equals. I would type 3x plus 1 hit graph. It'll graph my line. Again, I can trace. I have to hit the trace button. I can trace if you want to find some exact points. Or remember, you can also use this table on the side that gives you your ordered pairs. This is like the X and Y table that you um, would have created. All right. Uh, that's everything you need to know to be able to get your activity done.